Everyone learns differently. Yet we teach and test everyone as if they were exactly the same. Life is the most difficult exam. Most people fail because they try to copy others, not realizing that everyone has a different question paper. All it takes is a simple Google search. University makes me unhappy, anxious, feel like a failure. It's no surprise that depression is on the rise as mental health hits the skies. And I'm hoping that's the limit, probably for the first time. And don't get it twisted. We want to change the system, not just be critics. But the truth is we spend a lot of time on the theoretical and tactical, not enough time on the creative and practical. Today at college, we spend a lot of time in bars and then learn how to code. It's ironic. We end up a barcode. Is the barcode even memorable? No, it's just a series of digits. We end up statistics, wasted potential like unrecorded lyrics. Every day we turn up to the conveyor belt. We're on the assembly line. We become a product of our environment, then get shipped off. Life is the most difficult exam. The history we learn at school doesn't help us define our future. Most of us know how to add and subtract, but not how to multiply our investments. We know how to do multiple choice, but we struggle to make decisions. We know how to analyze a poet's voice, but we can't express ourselves with precision. We learned about the human body, but not how to find ourselves. We learned about the brain, but not about mental health. Geography taught us where things were, but not where countries wanted to go. We learned about modes of transport, but not where travel makes us grow. We learned about new languages, but not about old cultures. We learned about only one perspective and not opposing versions. We learned how to draw, but not appreciate art. We were always pushed to get to the end, but never knew how to start. We were always told to get over stuff and not how to walk through. We learned about the cells in plants, but not about the source of our food. We learned how to measure distance, but not the journey within. We were told that X was the only place there was something missing. So listen, what have we really learned? The real tests we will face are rejection, dealing with failure, having to start from scratch, and things not going our way. But tell me when you were taught perseverance, determination, or persistence even for one day. The real challenges we will face are being empathetic, understanding people's challenges, and the ability to press pause. Now put your hand up if you think that would have been more beneficial than comparing your test scores. Because at school, you get the lesson first and the test after. But in life, you get the test first and the lesson after. We need character, but we focus on caliber. We need values, but we're forced to focus on algebra. What if we studied more about Pythagoras and not just his theorem? What if we learned about Einstein and not just his work? What if we learned about empathy and not just economics? What if we learned about compassion and not just the compass? What if we learned about emotional intelligence as well as the spelling quiz? What if we focused on attitude as much as we did on our aptitude? What if we didn't just learn how to read, but how to apply it? Life is disguised as an exam, but it's more like a practice test. When you make mistakes, learn from them, and any mistakes can be taken again. You can change the script at any time, make a costume change, and then get back out onto that stage. Don't be limited by society. Your path is unique. Don't trade it for less. Life is the most difficult exam because most people are looking at someone else's desk.